July 14th, 2020. This is Trump today. Press conference at the Rose Garden. Much sooner than people thought. People are feeling good about our country. People are feeling good about uh, therapeutics and possible vaccines. But we're gonna I go came here by, by myself alone. I don't have any help to too bounce too my scriptures off. Today I signed legislation and an executive order to hold China accountable for its oppressive actions against the people of Hong Kong. They've done really historic business, tremendous business, far bigger than anybody would have thought years ago when we did this uh, gift. We, it was really a gift to freedom, which I've given quite a bit to the farmers and ranchers of our country because they were targeted. And that's been going on for three years. It's the first time anybody's ever done anything like that. And prior to the plague pouring in from China, they were having the worst years, you know, in 67 years. And I don't want them to have a bad year. I want them to have a good year. But they were taking advantage of the United States for many, many years. No special privileges, no, no special economic treatment. Done with me face work, he said. So, George. And no export yeah. of sensitive technologies. Right, right, right. In addition to that, as you know, we're you know, if, placing massive tariffs. If they get still nothing, okay. Very large tariffs on... China, first time that's ever happened to China. Billions of dollars have been paid to the United States, of which I've given quite a bit to the farmers and ranchers of our country because they were targeted. 100, I think. 100% no lying. And that's been going on for At three years. 30 minutes, 40. First time anybody's ever done anything yeah. like that. Yeah, 158. And prior to the plague pouring in from China, they were having the worst years, you know, in 67 years. Right. And I don't want them to have a bad year. I want them to have a good year. But okay. they were taking advantage of the United States for yeah. many, many years. And that's uh, stopping. But then the, then the virus came in and uh, the world is a different place. But we're now getting back. And one of the reasons the market's doing so, it's almost at the point that it was at prior to the plague. Almost. We're getting very close. It's a great thing. It's an amazing thing what our people have done and what they've endured. No administration has been tougher on China than this administration. We imposed historic tariffs. We stood up to China's intellectual property theft okay. at a level that nobody's ever come close. We confronted yeah, yeah. untrustworthy Chinese technology and telecom what? providers. We convinced many countries, many countries, and I did this myself for the most part, not to use Huawei because we think it's an unsafe yeah, yeah. security risk. It's a big security risk. I talked many countries out of using it. If they want to do business with us, they can't use it. Just today, I believe that UK announced that uh, they're not going to be using it. And that was up in the air for a long time, but they've decided. And you look at Italy, you look at many other countries. We withdrew from the Chinese-dominated WHO and we fully become rebuilt the United States military, the WHO, the World Health Organization. Uh, uh, we were paying close to $500 million a year. China was paying $39 million yeah, yeah. a year. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, China had too much say. They worked it very hard, which is a uh, bad thing done by our because past administrations, of... but we were tough and we were saying, I was asking, I said, why are we paying so much more than China? China has 1.4 billion people. We have 325, probably 325 million approximately. Nobody can give the exact count. We're trying to get an exact count, but you have over the years, many illegals who have come yeah, into one, the country. Yeah, one, Eric. Can so audio from the victim's family, okay? You could say 325 to 350 million people as a... Like, what, what is this? ...opposed to 1.4 billion people. And the world trade... World trade is... And the world trade... World trade... World trade... Trade center? It is... Terrible. That deal is terrible. The world health is a terrible deal. We've been very tough on the World Trade Organization, and we've been 
uh, I guess, as tough as you can get on world health. We withdrew our money. We told them we're exactly. getting out. Doesn't mean that someday we won't go back in. Maybe we will when it's correctly run. But they made a lot of bad predictions and they said a lot of bad things about what to do and how to do it. And they turned out to be wrong. And they were really a puppet of China. And make no mistake, we hold China fully responsible for concealing the virus and unleashing it upon the world. They could have stopped it. They should have stopped it. Would have been very easy to do at the source when it happened. In contrast, Joe Biden's entire career has been a gift to the Chinese Communist Party and to the calamity of, of errors that they've made. They made so many errors. And it's been devastating for the American worker. Now, I know China is, you know, what he's talking about, but every country, state, city, it has a spiritual aspect to what's actually going on. So they use their, that's how it's done, the code words. China has taken out hundreds of billions of dollars a year from our country. Because China, in this theme, isn't good from what Trump is saying. And we rebuilt China. I give them all the credit in the world. I don't give the credit for the people that used to stand here because they allowed this to happen. The credit for the people that used to stand here because they allowed this to happen. We're doing the world trade. They were flatlining for years and years and years and decades. And then all of a sudden, they joined the World Trade Organization, and they went like a rocket ship. Come on, man. Okay, I'm going to have a hard... All of a sudden, they joined the World Trade Organization, and they went like a rocket ship. They were given all sorts of advantages. They were considered a developing country. As a developing country, they got tremendous advantages over the United States and other countries. And they took advantage of those advantages and and then some. Biden personally led the effort to give China permanent most favored nation status, which is a tremendous advantage for a country to have. Few countries have it, but the United States doesn't have it. They took all of the advantage away from us. They took everything away. They don't have oil. We would have had it close yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have oil. We would have had to close up uh, tremendous amounts of our energy to qualify eventually, not to qualify eventually, not too far into the future. We would have had to do, do things that would have been unbelievably destructive to our country, including the possible closing of 25% of our businesses. Think of that. And it was going to cost us hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars for the privilege of being involved in the Paris Climate Accord. And you just have to look at what took place this year in Paris and France, where money was being sent to countries all over the world. And he wrote something today, and he made a statement today I that I was wrote to down Justin pretty accurate. For a while so Biden was here for 47 years. Eight years, the last eight years, not long ago, as vice president, he said, one in five miles of our highways are still in poor condition. Well, we made a statement today that I wrote down, pretty accurate. So Biden was here for 47 years, eight years, the last eight years, not long. I'm talking about this thing coming to an end. And tonight, I'm going to share some thoughts with you here from the book of Ruth. It's been quite some time uh, since I have actually spoke on this subject. In fact, I think it's been about eight years. I was here for 47 years, eight years, the last eight years, not long ago, as vice president. He said, one in five miles of our highways are still in poor condition. Well, we're doing a good job on highways. Eight but full years. Why didn't he fix them three years ago? Why didn't he fix them? Tens of thousands of bridges are in disrepair and on the verge of collapse. Well, it's probably not a right number, but we have bridges that should have been fixed. Why didn't he fix them? He was there for eight years with President Obama. Why didn't they fix them? 
tens of thousands of bridges. This is what he wrote. High-speed broadband. We want high-speed broadband. Well, why didn't he get it? Well, why didn't he get it? Three years ago is not a long time. And uh, he didn't do any of the things, but now he says he's going to be president. As president, he's going to do all the things that he didn't do. He never did, never did anything, except make very bad decisions, especially on foreign policy. So Joe Biden and President Obama freely allowed China to pillage our factories. It wasn't easy, because you talk about a certain power of the telephone and the so Joe Biden and President Obama freely allowed China to pillage our factories, plunder our communities, and steal our most precious secrets. Yeah, I'm just going to take China as the bad guy in this script. This th and I've stopped it largely, but I've stopped it. Thing coming to an end. And then actually having help like people that know the scriptures more than i do and it wasn't easy because you talk about a certain power of the telephone principality of the air the air waves the you cannot become you cannot allow yourself and to maintain christ in you and the calls where they would call and say, no, we don't want to do that. And other countries would call on behalf of China, but I did it. I did what has to be done. Other countries would call on behalf of China, but I did it. I did. I'm just going to replace China with Derek Burroughs. What has to be done? And you just take a look at what's gone on. And because the organized um, riots have been obvious as to who's behind it. Therefore, when the police are, when they're pushing for the police to be unfunded, uh, not funded, then they're also pushing for this. Take a look at the kind of, at the numbers where they devalued their currency in order to pay the tariffs. Now the Democrat Party is calling for defunding of our military. Think of that, defunding. They want to defund our military when China is building a massive military. Kind of at the numbers where they devalued their currency in order to pay the tariffs. Now the Democrat Party is calling for defunding of our military. Think of that, defunding. They want to defund our military when China is building a massive military. Or just to maintain the path that you're on. They're building a massive military and Biden wants to defund our military. And the world needs American strength right now. So I'll just replace Biden with the actual person that controls Biden. Now more than ever, we've got it. We've, we've got now soon, as it, all this equipment comes in, all made in the USA, we've got the newest, most incredible weapons anywhere in the world. We have the best tanks, the best. And I'll just replace the weapons with me and anybody else who is with me ships the best missiles rockets same thing we have the best of everything we have the best fighter jets the f-35 yeah i'm not saying that i'm the best i'm just saying that i'm when i i'm explaining how i get my information some will say it's completely retarded and delusional and but i'll say this is exactly how i get my information this is exactly what they're talking about and they know that this is exactly what they're talking Maybe not every single thing I'm pointing out here. Some things are off. They might not make sense. But I'm being hot or cold, and I'm just telling you how I do it. I replace keywords with key characters that I now know that are in charge of the planet. Makes it easier for me to, to visualize what... It, and the same thing with scripture. F-18. All of these... Assets are being built. Tankers, incredible tankers. This is this is the 144,000. So that's part of the everything that's that's better in America is when the truth is finally being accepted by the people who have been watching it for the past few years. Bombers. Hope we don't have to use them. 
but we <laughs> oh my goodness hopefully we don't have to use the bombers no bombing well I don't know I mean it has been almost a week where this stopped and the rivers flowed and every, all just way too much why right, look at that look at that actually having help like people that know the scriptures more than I do and here's the other misconception about Christ you think he knew it all of course Lucifer will he'll want you to think that he know it all because Lucifer's playing Christ because if you believe he's Christ well he's the one that knows it all nope sets are being built tankers Incredible tankers, bombers, hope we don't have to use them, but we have the most incredible military. When I came in, the military was totally depleted. It was, it was at a level that was just absolutely incredible. You know the statements, I made the statements before. You know the statements, I made the statements before. I told you what generals told me about our military Robin Hood and, all and I'll make them again if somebody needs them we'll give them to you question. very well documented in fact I think it's been about as vice president years. Biden opposed tariffs Biden opposed tariffs and he was standing up for China he didn't want to do anything to disrupt the relationship with China even though China was taking us to the cleaners he opposed my so. very strict travel ban on Chinese it's an nationals thing to stop the to, spread to, of the China virus. I'm witnessing what he I'm was totally against it. Xenophobic, he called me. Xenophobic. A month later, he admitted I was right. Hmm. Would that be August 8th on 8 8? We would have had thousands of people additionally die if we let people come in from heavily infected China. But we stopped it. We did a travel ban in January. Nancy Pelosi was dancing in the streets of Chinatown in San Francisco. A number that we're actually working on, but it could be two to three million lives. So we're at 135,000, which is terrible. One is too much. But we would have had millions of people dead from this curse that came at us. But we did what we had to do, and now we'll put out the flames as it as it happens, we have to get the schools open. We have to get everything open. A lot of people don't want to do that for political reasons, not for other reasons. But if we had listened to Joe Biden, hundreds of thousands of additional lives would have been lost. And if you look at the job he did on swine flu, I looked at a poll. They have polls on everything nowadays. That side is M. M1. No left hand turns. You don't even make a right turn. But do not enter. I have poles on everything nowadays. But do and uh, he, they got very bad marks on the job they did on the swine flu. H1N1. He calls it N1H1. Do not enter. And this side is N1. This was lunchtime today. And Trump, this was three hours ago. I'll just keep giving, I'll just keep showing you all the references that, that uh, are connecting. H1N1. Got very poor marks from Gallup on the job they did on swine flu. Fodder for the fake news to report cases. So we're doing 40 million plus, going to be very close to 45 million people. And when I turn on the news, I see cases, cases, cases. And these are things no one ever knew or saw. No one had ever presented them this way. And that's why in 1 Corinthians 15.45, I'll just go there real quick just to kind of wrap this part up. 1 Corinthians 15.45, 1 
So it is written, the first man, Adam, right here. C76, isn't it fascinating? My little church building is 76 inches across. Let's click on that, 76. See, it's at, it says 76. It says Adam, of Hebrew origin, 121. See it? Adam, the first man of Jesus, typically of Jesus. So, see, it's from Hebrew word 121. The only time you see Hebrew 121 is in, is in Genesis 2, when the Lord God makes his formation of man. They don't talk about deaths being cut down to a level that actually tenfold they use. I got that from one of the very respected media outlets. Tenfold. Cut tenfold. Yes, but they don't talk about that. Interesting act in some cases. We mobilize to a level that nobody... I feel like you, Mike Pence. We thought possible. Nothing's happened like that since World War II. Our task force has done a great job. Right Mike here. Mike Pence works so hard, gets so little credit. Sad to see that, actually. But he works so hard, gets so little credit. The governors would tell us we'd be on the phone with 50 different governors that all... will tell us what a great job, great job. And then they'll go to the media and say, well, they didn't do such a good job. Well, we did a great job. We made a lot of governors look fantastic. Uh, everybody was there, doctors. We ended up getting doctors. They said, we can't man it. They said, so we'll man it and woman it. And that's what we did. We and brought in doctors, one nurses, man, everything rate, well set. They said, where are the people? God's man. They didn't send the people. Very few people came in. They could have sent him into the Javits Center. They could have sent him to the hospital ship. He said, so we'll man it and woman it. And then to fight the China virus and to keep our people safe, through Operation Warp Speed, we will deliver a vaccine in record-breaking time. We're doing very well on the vaccines. We have many, many different vaccines being studied right now, many of which are looking really good. And we're ready to... That would be about 144, like, or so in that area. While we're listening to President Trump... Just read the words down here. Many of which are looking... What is really happening good. in the... And we're ready to... While Black we're listening Rock. to President Trump in the... Ro ah. Rose Garden, another breaking news story of the moment... Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg has been hospitalized. What is that with the Black Rock? Validated in the desert. The entire ministry from beginning to end, like, it's the same rock. As we're hearing that from the Supreme Court, at Johns Hopkins University up in Baltimore, we understand she had symptoms of fever and chills. Uh -oh. Was checked out of a local hospital and sent up to Johns Hopkins. Johns the hope Hopkins. is after several days of intravenous... Johns Hop, Hop next to Kins. John Hopps next to Kins. Reports at Johns Hopkins University up in Baltimore. We understand she had symptoms of 47 years. He never came out against John. The process is falling. Discussed. And never said anything bad. Just Three, helps. if you want to talk about. And his son walked out with one point five million dollars. Okay, yeah. I mean, one on the sh should be the looking for example. Dollars, maybe millions of dollars a year. Walked out with one point five billion. I asked one Thank of the you. biggest people on Wall Street. Maybe the biggest. Is that possible? Chinese buyer, seen? which is in one hour. No. He's never seen it. They don't do that. But Hunter, where's Hunter? Where is Hunter, by the way? Hunter Biden walked out with $1.5 billion. In Ukraine, he got $83,000 a month, and I guess an upfront payment of $3 million. So he went from not having a job to getting $83,000 a month with a lot of money paid up front. Nothing happens, nobody cares. And he was unemployed, as you know. He was unfortunately forced to leave the military. He was forced to leave. Didn't have Between a job, and all of a sudden gentlemen. he's making a fortune. But nobody talks about that. Indeed, Biden expressed more fawning praise about China on an ordinary day than about America. On the 4th of July, the last Independence Day, Biden attacked the United States and said we had, quote, never lived up to the ideals of our fathers, our forefathers, or our founding fathers. And he did, he did what his fathers didn't do. 
those founding ideals, and yet he enthusiastically stated that China is a great nation and we should hope for its continued expansion. What China's unleashed on the world, it's, uh, it's hard to even fathom. I see people now, friends of mine, they walk up, they want to say hello and have to keep their distance and they're all covered up like you're all covered up with face masks. It's a different world, but we're coming out on top. Covered up like you're all covered up with face masks. It's a different world, but we're coming out on top. Biden sides with China over America time and time again. And now Joe Biden is pushing a platform that would demolish the U.S. economy, totally demolish it. The greatest ever, stock market highest ever in history. We had 143 days of all-time stock market highs in just less than three and a half years. And we had to close it down because we did the right thing by doing that. As I said, we saved millions of lives. But, but then you begin to learn really who's behind it and who's usurped it. So now this is the turnaround. Because I feel like I'm like beating up on uh, Derek Bros, but I'm not. I'm just showing what I what I understand. And what I understand is what other people can't see and what other people won't admit and say it out loud just yet. But China was saying, this is incredible what's going on. China was for the first time respecting the United States. And now they want to do something that's much different, Joe Biden. Where we were going, but it was also part of what needed to happen. So I've watched this and I've watched it with great interest. We're building our economy again. I guess the stock market went up almost 500 points today. Today, uh, Joe Biden gave a speech in which he said that the core of his economic agenda is a hard left crusade against American energy. No left hand turns. He wants turns. to kill American energy. He wants to re-enter the unfair, one-sided Paris climate accord. Which so I've said that this is down here. This is the rock. That that was. That's where Rocky is. But that's Derek's area down there. To kill American energy. He wants to re-enter the unfair, one-sided Paris Climate Accord, which will destroy us. He, uh, Joe Biden gave a speech in which he said that the core of his economic agenda is a hard left crusade against American energy. He wants to kill American energy. He wants to re-enter the unfair, one-sided Paris Climate Accord, which will destroy us. And like so many other deals are done to take advantage of the fools running the United States. But this fools running the United States. But Here Trump is going to reference the host body system. The European Union was formed in order to take advantage of the United States. They formed and they take advantage of the United States. See those eyes? I see you, Trump. I hear you. It's the forming of man. It's they formed and they take advantage of the United States. And I know that. They know I know that. But other opinion was formed in order to take advantage of the United States. They formed and they take advantage of the United States. And I know that. it Adam the first man of Jesus typically of Jesus so see it's from Hebrew word 121 the only time you see Hebrew 121 is in, is in Genesis 2 when the Lord God makes his formation of man and then Genesis 1 man the serpent race breeds together with God's man and this that's the repre that is the entire system from the but other presidents had no idea. Things I just asked my people to do is just draw up for me just quickly some of the things that we've been hearing about over the last couple of weeks. And these are actual key elements of the Biden-Sanders unity platform. Abolish 
immigration detention. No more detention. You come in here illegally, no more detention. Stop all deportation. So if we get a MS-13 gang member, which we've taken out of our country by the thousands, brought him back to Honduras, Guatemala. To acting school? Can't do that anymore. El Salvador. Can't do that anymore. Stop all deportations. Uh, where, when Biden and Obama used to bring killers out, they would say, don't bring them back to our country. We don't want them. Well, we have to. We don't want them. They wouldn't take them. Now with us, they take them. But remember, this is how I truly feel. A great guy. Friend of mine. Become a friend of mine. A lot of people thought that couldn't happen because we're very uh, opposite in terms of our views, maybe even in terms of our temperament. But he's a great guy, and he's a friend of mine, and they've been terrific. Mexico has been terrific. And the timing, so obviously, with everything going on in the world Mexican right now soldiers. is... And Remarkable. We have great, great numbers. Uh, we get rid of so many different things. We provide taxpayer subsidies and welfare for people that come into our country illegally. illegally. Now it sounds like a bunch of people got together, sat down, and made a covenant with each other. Immigrants. They want government health care for all illegal aliens. This is part of their plan. I'm not making this up. This is all. And illegal aliens isn't really Mexicans from a border. Pull down in their plan from last week. What happened last this week? Is good. Well, here's what happened last week. 17th JFK bombing. Nope. Rocky, 5.55 a.m. Nope. But yes, absolutely. The way the wall was so timely because it stopped people coming in from heavily infected areas. Heavenly. From up there, the wall you guys are building. I'm telling you, 45 days is coming because up. Because our testing is the best in the world. And by the way, by far the most. 45 million. Find out which country tested 45 million. Especially people. when he repeats it. Especially when you repeat it three times. If China, if Russia, if India tested 45 million people. See, three. Or if they did tests like we did. I'm just going over this now and just recording what I think he's saying. I haven't listened to any of the rest of it. But I did hear one clip somewhere around here. I'm not, it was about watching two different people. So I'm going to have to make another video. Yeah, I, I really hate that i got to wake up tomorrow and go to work and do this. Because I'd be able to get more information out there. I just don't feel like I'm getting enough done because of my time that I waste at least 10 hours each day you know working just to pay to pay bills it's annoying check out how many cases they'd have but it's still we've done a great job 